Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, yes, me friend. Me good friend. Popeye the Pan Street again. Again, again, again. Yes, me friend. My good, good friends with the Pan Street again. <laughs> so, today's journey, we are leaving Montego Bay and we are heading towards Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. This commute was on a Tuesday afternoon. It was minutes after 5 o'clock. So, sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, today's video is brought to you by Box It Up. Remember that their WhatsApp number is 876-277-1097 and they do island-wide delivery. At Box It Up, apart from the microfiber spinning magic mops, they also have in stock windy AC units and all Carlisa products. They have disposables, gloves, gowns, dispenser and dispenser stands and a whole heap more. You can WhatsApp them at 876-277-1097. And like I said, they do island-wide delivery. They also sell items on wholesale. Check them out. You will not be disappointed. So, we are starting today's video with some sad news. That man on your screen, his name is Mr. Russell Hammond. Mr. Hammond was 72 years old. Mr. Hammond, he was a friend. He was a politician. He was a businessman. He was a justice of the peace. Mr. Hammond, he was an employer. But most of all, Mr. Russell Hammond, he was a great human being. Now, the last time I came here and I spoke glowingly about Mr. Hammond, some persons took me on because they were saying there are no good politicians in Jamaica. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. I have known Mr. Russell Hammond for over 30 years. Mr. Hammond and I, we have had a few discussions. And not once was there any discussion about politics. In fact, Mr. Hammond, he was an ardent supporter of the Jamaica Labour Party. He was a member of parliament for the JLP in central Westmoreland in the 1980s. And... Last year, when there was a discussion about George Wright, the current member of parliament for Central Westmoreland, now, George Wright, he represented the JLP. There were some allegations swirling that George Wright, he was the man seen in a video abusing a female. To date, Mr. Russell Hammond, he is the only member, or he is the only senior member of the Jamaica Labour Party who came out publicly and said that George Wright should resign. That's how unbiased Mr. Hammond was. Mr. Hammond, he knew that there would be backlash from within the JLP, but he was being true to himself. In September of this year, Mr. Hammond, he had a major heart surgery. He was in hospital for a while and he was given the all clear and he was released by the doctors. About three Saturdays ago, Mr. Hammond, he fell ill. He was taken to seek medical attention. It was then realized that some of Mr. Hammond's organs, to include his kidneys, were failing. Mr. Hammond, he was admitted at the University Hospital in Kingston where he has been receiving treatment. But last night, Friday, December 2, 2022, about 820, Mr. Hammond, he died. What good, Mr. Russell Hammond. May your soul rest in peace. Condolences to Mr. Hammond's wife, his children, his other family members and relatives, his staff and his friends. Mr. Hammond, you have touched the lives of many, including mine. No respect, sir. Like I said, what good. Now, JPS, Jamaica Public Service. 
Are you aware that your contractors, they were changing out some of your light poles at Hopewell in Darlistan earlier this week? Well, they left the area from Wednesday, November 30, 2022. They also left the area with no electricity. Can you imagine? The power was not restored to tens of JPS customers until 10.30 last night. That's two full days without electricity. JPS. JPS. These are contractors out there working for you. This is not a good look at all. JPS. Uno can do a whole lot better. Yeah, man. Now, yesterday, we had promised to update this story. It took place yesterday morning. Friday, December 2, 2022, about 8.30. It took place at Go Peace Lane in the South Spring area in the parish of St. James. We are learning that residents of the area, they saw a fire coming from a three-apartment boardhouse. As a result, they called the police and the fire department. Fire personnel from the Iron Shore Fire Department, they responded and they were able to put out the blaze. Now, after cooling down operations, checks were made in the house and the charred remains of Miss Ida May White. She was 90 years old, 90. She was born on March 13, 1932. The charred remains of Miss Ida May White, who lived alone in the house, were found in the rubble. The police and the fire department, they are investigating to ascertain what could have caused this fire. Sad indeed. Very, very sad. Now, this next incident. Now, let me tell you exactly where this one took place. It took place right at the four-way intersection of Howard Cook Boulevard, Gantry Road, Alice Eldemeyer Drive and Southern Cross Boulevard, right in the vicinity of the Freeport Police Station in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It took place yesterday afternoon, Friday, December 2, 2022, about 4 o'clock. Now, this is what we are learning and this is exactly how this accident took place. A 21-year-old man, he's from the parish of St. James. He was driving a 2017 Toyota Axio motor car. He was traveling along the road like he was heading towards Freeport. He was traveling in another direction. He was going towards the traffic light, but his intention was to turn right onto the Howard Cook Boulevard. A man, his name is Kimarley Garden. He is 28 years old and he lived at Springmount in the parish of St. James. Kimarley. He was riding a blue missile CG250 motorcycle. He was coming in the opposite direction towards the traffic light. He was coming from the Freeport end. His intention was to go straight through the traffic light. So, here this now. The traffic light, it was on green for both of them. But, there is a green right turning light. And that green right turning light, it was not on. In fact... The red light for turning right was on for the Toyota Axio. Remember, I told you that his intention was to turn right onto Howard Cook Boulevard. Well, he did went ahead and turned right. As a result, he collided into the motorcycle that was coming in the opposite direction. As a result of this collision, Kimarley, he was thrown from the motorcycle and he fell on the asphalted main road. And that was it for Kimarley. He died on the spot. Sad indeed. Now, let's hope that this driver, he's made to face the consequences for his dangerous driving. Boy, may I tell you. Now, this next incident, it took place on the Mount Hannah Primary School compound at Maryland in the parish of Anova. It took place last night, Friday, December 2, 2022, about 9.30. So this is what we are learning. Two brothers, they were sitting on the step at the school. They had gone to the school and they were using the school's Wi-Fi. One of them, he's known as Shartman. He's said to be in his late 20s. It is said that Shartman's brother, he left and went to a shop nearby. Shartman, 
he was still sitting on the step when loud explosions sounding like gunshots were heard. It was then realized that short man, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to his left foot. Short man, he managed to run off to the side of the school where he hid until the shooting subsided. Short man's brother, he returned and he assisted his brother to a nearby hospital where short man, he was treated and admitted. Now, whoever it was that was shooting at short man, they were not shooting at his left foot. So, short man, he's lucky to be alive. Now, in this next story, yesterday, we also promised to update this story. Listen to this. That lady on your screen, her name is Kerry Ann Williams. Kerry Ann is 40 years old. She lived at Mount Erie District in the Orange Hill area in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that back in the day, Kerry Ann, she used to be involved in a relationship with a man known as Gyanzi. Gyanzi was said to be wanted by the police for the murder of a man who was killed at retreat in the parish of Westmoreland. Gyanzi, he was eventually shot and killed by the police in an alleged confrontation. So, in recent times, Kerry Ann, she was involved in a relationship with a guy. This guy, his name is Courtney Cooper, but he's popularly known as Junior. Junior, he's said to be in his late 20s and he's originally from St. John's Road, just outside of Spanish Town in the parish of St. Catherine. We are still trying to find out how long Kerry Ann and Junior have been together. We are also trying to find out where they would have met. But Junior, he was living at Kerry Ann's house in Mount Erie. Now, residents in the area, they are saying that they last saw Kerry Ann alive and walking in the community. On Tuesday, November 29, about some minutes after 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, Wednesday, all day, Kerry Ann was not seen. Thursday, all day, she was not seen either. Close family members. They tried calling her by telephone, but the phone, it rang unanswered. The concerned family members, they went to Kerry Ann's home and they made checks, but neither Kerry Ann or her boyfriend, Junior, were seen at the house. As a result, a missing persons report was filed to the police. Yesterday morning, Friday, December 2, 2022, about 7 o'clock, the police and some residents of the community they went to Kerry Ann's house. It is said that the house, it was seen opened. The outside area was searched and behind the house, the partially decomposed body of Kerry Ann was found in a shallow grave. She was dressed only in a blue brassiere. Kerry Ann, she had stab wounds to her chest. So the police, they commenced investigations into the murder of Kerry Ann. We are told that yesterday afternoon, the police, they received certain intelligence. As a result, they went to the Texaco gas station in Negril. It is said that Courtney Cooper, also known as Junior, he was seen by the police. But Junior, on seeing the police, he ran off into the nearby swamp. Junior, he managed to elude the police. So Junior, he is now a wanted man. He's the prime suspect. In the demise of Kerry Ann. Now, my viewers, my subscribers, if you have any photograph of Junior, please send it to us via WhatsApp to 876 458 9111. You can also send it to our Facebook or Instagram pages. They are the same names Papai News Links. Sad indeed. Now, this next incident. It took place yesterday evening, Friday, December 2, 2022, about some minutes to 7 o'clock. It took place along the Mount Salem main road in the parish of St. James. So, what we are learning is that some residents of the area, they stumbled upon the lifeless body of a man. This man, he was lying face down along the main road, right in the vicinity of the Open Bible Church. This man, he was also seen bleeding. As a result, the police were informed. We are told that when the police went to the scene and made checks, they saw the man. His head, 
was wrapped in a cream and brown shirt and he had chap wounds to his back and his neck. From all indication, this man, he was D.E.A.D. Now, up to the time of recording this video, we are told that this man, he was not yet identified, but he is of a dark complexion, slim built and about 6 feet tall. He was dressed in a cream colored shirt and a pair of blue jeans pants. If and when we get this man's name or any other information, we are certainly going to be updating this story. But the mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, we told you yesterday that we were doing some digging on this one. So if you look on your screen, that is a photograph of Nardo Leon Grant. That photograph was taken when he was 25 years old, 15 years ago. Nardo, he's now 40 years old. Now, yesterday, we told you that he was called D5, but no. The PNL detective who gave us that info said that it was a typographical error. We have also confirmed it with other PNL detectives. That man on your screen, he's called G5, not D5. He's also called Six Killer. Like I told you yesterday, G5, he's originally from Top Lincoln in Grange Hill. It is said that G5, he was involved in a bitter conflict with some members of a gang in Grange Hill. So he left and he lived at a home owned by his mother in the Farm Pen area of Westmoreland. Whilst living at Farm Pen, it is said that G5 was involved in hoodlum activities in Grange Hill. He carried the same hoodlum activities to Farm Pen in February of this year. A young man was shot by hoodlums who were trying to extort him. He was hit four times, including in his abdomen. G5, he was identified as one of the hoodlums who was involved. And he was arrested and charged by the police. He was given bail by the court and he was ordered to report to the Savannah Lamar police station on condition of bail. It is said that about three weeks ago, G5's mother... She died from natural cause. G5, he was in the process of planning his mom's funeral. His mom is to be buried at Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. So, yesterday, Friday, December 2, 2022, G5 went to Grange Hill, making arrangements for his mom's grave digging. About 2 p.m., he was riding his black cheetah motorcycle along the Belle Isle main road in Grange Hill when a white motor car drove up and hit G5 off his motorcycle. A hoodlum then jumped out of the car with a gun in his hand. The hoodlum, he opened a barrage of gunshots at G5, hitting him in his face, the left side of his chest, his abdomen and his lower back. The hoodlum, he then boarded the said car and he and his cronies made good their escape. The police were called and when they went to the scene, the police transported G5 to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital where he was pronounced D.E.A.D. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene and from all indication, all six bullets connected. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin if we just unite. What a country this will be if we just unite. Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Show me a
Just mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica I could have sunshine or rain Jamaica, no problem, no pain Good boy, them no go to your tail But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complaining Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame But me want me country back Give me me country back Cry with a mash up Jamaica Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when me turn Country and town, man a pay blood a gun Murder, don't you be me hear them a murder Cut it out, tell them no gonna further Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals them 